My name is P. Amina. I am CRT English of KGBV Samtepalli. Hello, the students of 8th class. Welcome to the world of English. How are you all? I hope you are all fine, sweet and healthy children. Today, we are going to start you were first in a family. What is a family? Parents and children are living together as a unit. Is called a family. This unit helps us to understand the importance of family. Now, let us see the subreading in family. Reading A. The Tattered Blanket. Reading B. My Mother Poem. Reading C. Letter to a Friend. Look at the pictures here. In the first image, we see father, mother and the two children. This is a family. This family is also called as nuclear family. Let us move to the second image. In this image, we see many generations like grandfather, grandmother, fathers, mothers, uncles, aunt and their children. This is a family. This family is also called as joint family. Let us move to our words. Our first in it, the tattered blanket. Before we start this lesson, let us know about the author of this lesson. The author of this lesson, tattered blanket, is Kamala Das. First, the tattered blanket lesson was written by Kamala Das in Malayalam. Later, it was translated into English by K.M. Sheriff. Kamala Das was born in 1932. She is the daughter of the famous Malayalam poet Balamaniyamma mm. and V.M. Nair. She is an internationally known poet, short story writer and novelist. She writes effortlessly both in English and Malayalam. She received many awards for her literary work. Some of them are Asian Poetry Prize, Kent Award for English Writing from Asian Countries, Asian World Prize, Sahitya Academy Award, and Weiler Ramavarma Sahitya Award. Let us know more information about our author. She is also called as Madhavi Kutti. Because many of her poets and stories made in Malayalam. So, the people of Malayalam, they called as Madhavi Kutti. She was married of Madhava Das. He is an employee of the Reserve Bank of India. For various reasons, she converted into Islam and changed her name Sunaya Kamala Sunaya. She was died in the year 2009. Let us get started with the lesson that had a blanket. As I told you, Kamala Das is a familiar writer. Most of her writings deal with Female sufferings in the society. This 
story is also about a mother who prays for her son's love. The tattered blanket. The meaning of tattered is torn. Let us know the characters of this lesson. The woman who is sitting in an armchair is Amma. The person who is near the gate is Gopi, the son of Amma. The woman who is sitting on the thina in veranda is Kamala, the daughter of Amma. Let us start to read the lesson. When he arrived unexpectedly at his home in the countryside in his office car, and got down at the gate. His mother, who was lying in an armchair on the veranda, made a futile attempt to get up. Unexpectedly means suddenly. Countryside means village. Futile means failure. Attempt means to try. Here, he refers to Gopi. One day, Gopi suddenly came to his home. His home was in a village. He came to his village in his office car and got down at the gate. When he came to his village, at that time, his mother was lying in an armchair on the veranda. She listened the car sound. When she listened the car song, at that time, immediately she tried to get up, but she failed. Kamala, there is somebody at the gate. She said, somebody is in a car. Amma said to Kamala, somebody is in a car. They are at the gate. Kamala her eldest daughter, a widow, who was sitting huddled up on the thinna on the veranda, her head and ears covered with a thin bath towel, got up reluctantly, walked slowly to the gate and, screwing up, her eyes fade into the darkness. Widow means who lost her husband. Huddled up means too close. Thinna means sit out. Reluctantly means unwillingly. Screwing up her eyes means narrowing the eyes and to look more carefully. Pet means concentrately. Here, who was Kamala? Kamala was her eldest daughter and she was a widow. She sat very near to her mother on the thinna on the veranda. Her head and ears covered with a thin bath towel. She got up unwillingly and walked slowly to the gate. She looked more carefully and concentratedly into the darkness. She saw a bald fat middle-aged man walking in through the gate. What means? Lack of hair. What she noticed here? A bald, fat, middle-aged man walking towards the gate. Oh, Gopi. She said in her greeting voice, Why this sudden, unexpected visit? Greeting voice means loudly. Kamala asked Gopi, why this sudden unexpected visit? Kamala, who is it? Her mother asked loudly from the veranda. Amma asked a question to her daughter. Kamala, who is it? Gopi, the man said, there was a meeting in Tiruvannathapuram. I just dropped in on my way back. Gopi said that he had a meeting 
in Tiruvananthapuram. On his way back, he came here to see his mother. Where was Gopi coming from? He was coming from Tiruvananthapuram. Why did he go there? He went to attend a meeting. Who? Kamala. Who is it? There was a note of alarm in Amma's voice. Alarm means fear. Amma asked a question to her daughter. Kamala, who is it? Amma, why are you so scared? Kamala, Gopi's eldest sister, asked her little awkwardly as if you are seeing Gopi for the first time. Kamala asked a question to her mother. Why are you so scared? And she said that as if you are seeing Gopi for the first time. Amma, it's me, Gopi, he said again. He said again, Gopi, Amma, it's me. He bent down and brought his face close to her wrinkled cheek. Amma, it's me. Gopi went near his mother and bent down and brought his face close to her folded cheeks. And he said that, Amma, it's me. Gopi, Kamala, I can't believe it. Has this school closed for vacation? Vacation means holidays. Again, Amma asked a question to her daughter as is school closed for vacation. Amma is often like this these days. She doesn't recognize anybody. Gopi's sister explained. But sometimes her memory is quite sharp. Then she asks me if you have sent any letter. I tell her everything is fine with you. Vimala and the kids, what is the point of telling her that you haven't written for a year? Poor thing. I wouldn't dream of making her unhappy. Poor thing means very bad. Kamala started to explain her mother's condition with Gopi. She doesn't recognize anybody. But sometimes her memory is quite sharp. Then she asks me if you have sent any letter. I tell her everything is fine with you, Vimala and the kids. It was very bad. I didn't like to make her unhappy. What is the problem with Gopi's mother? Gopi's mother lost her memory who is more affectionate with the old woman. Gopi's sister is more affectionate with the old woman. I got a promotion last year. After that, I am always on my toes and there are tours quite often. I don't get any time to write letters. On my toes means busy. Gopi said to Kamala, I don't get any time to write letters. He got a promotion and he was always busy. He had tours quite often. Why don't you ask Vimala to write or doesn't she get any time to? Vim Kamala asked a question to Gopi. Why don't you ask Vimala to write or doesn't she get any time to? What are you mumbling over there? Amma said loudly. Again Amma raised a question. What are you mumbling? I hear somebody coming in a car. Who is it? Again she asked a question to her daughter. Who is it? I told you it's Gopi. Kamala said to Amma, I told you it's Gopi. Gopi is in Delhi, isn't he? 
అమ్మా సెడ్ టు కమల ఒపీస్ ఇన్ దిల్ హీ ఇజెంట్ హీ ఎస్ అమ్మా ఇట్స్ మీ ఐ హ్యావ్ కమ్ ఫ్రమ్ డిల్ హీ ఓపి ఆన్సర్డ్ ఎస్ అమ్మా ఇట్స్ మీ ఐ హ్యావ్ కమ్ ఫ్రమ్ డిల్ హీ వుడ్ ఇట్ గోపి మ్యారీ అమ్మా సెడ్ సడన్లీ లోయరింగ్ హర్ వాయిస్ ఐ మీన్ వాట్స్ హీస్ వైఫ్స్ నేమ్ లోయరింగ్ వాయిస్ మీన్స్ వెరీ స్లోలీ దీస్ ఆర్ ద క్వశ్చన్స్ అమ్మా రైజ్డ్ అగైన్ డోంట్ సే యూ హ్యావ్ ఫర్గాటన్ హర్ నేమ్ టు డోంట్ యూ రిమంబర్ విమల డిస్టిక్ కలెక్టర్ నంబియార్ ఎల్డెస్ట్ డాటర్ గోపీస్ సిస్టర్ సెట్ గోపీ సిస్టర్ సెట్ దట్ అమ్మా డోంట్ సే యూ హ్యావ్ ఫర్గాటన్ హర్ నేమ్ టు డోంట్ యూ రిమంబర్ విమల డిస్టిక్ కలెక్టర్ నంబియార్ ఎల్డెస్ట్ డాటర్ ఓ ఐ ఫర్గాట్ ద నేమ్ వాజ్ దేర్ ఏ లెటర్ ఫ్రమ్ గోపి టుడే అమ్మా సెట్ ఎస్ ఐ ఫర్గాట్ ద నేమ్ అగైన్ షీ రైజ్డ్ యూ క్వశ్చన్ వాజ్ దేర్ ఏ లెటర్ ఫ్రమ్ గోపి టుడే దేర్ వాజ్ హీ రైట్స్ ఎవ్వరీ డే కమలా సెడ్ టు అమ్మా దేర్ వాజ్ హీ రైట్స్ ఎవ్వరీ డే లెటర్స్ ఐ ఆమ్ టెర్రిబులీ అప్సెట్ ఇఫ్ ఐ డోంట్ గెట్ హి లెటర్ ఫ్రమ్ హిమ్ ఎవ్వరీ డే Terribly means dangerous. Amma said to Kamala, she was terribly upset if she doesn't get a letter from her son. He knows it. That's why he writes every day. Kamala said to Amma, he knows it. That's why he writes letters every day. Look at the way she talks. Gopi's sister turned out to him. just as i told you you know nothing about what is going on here do you again kamala started to explain her mother condition with gopi and she said that he don't know what is going on here who is that amma said again who is that in a car amma asked a question to her daughter who is that who is that in a car it's me gopi said i had to come to tiruvananthapuram i thought i should drop in to see you amma gopi said to amma he had a meeting in tiruvananthapuram he should drop in to see his mother amma Who is your mama? What is her name? Where does she live? Is it far from here? These questions mama asked again. No, it is quite near. Gopi answered, it is quite near. I don't know how I can bring back her memory. Gopi's sister said to him exasperately. means exasperately means angrily kamala said to gopi she doesn't know how she can get back her memory gopi placed his briefcase on the thinna he opened it and pulled out the contents cloth files a shaving set Gopi placed his briefcase on the thinna. He opened it and took out the contents from his briefcase. Do you know my son Gopi? Amma asked him. He is in Dilhi, a government officer. He has Kesari Yagum. He draws a salary of 2,500 rupees. Do you know him? Kesari Yagum means well settled in malayalam amma asked him that whether he knows her son gopi or not and she said that he is in delhi he is a government officer he has well settled and he draws a salary of 2500 rupees and amma again asked him do you know her son gopi 
Yes, I know him. Gopi answered, Yes, I know him. Tell him to send me a blanket. There is a cold mist in the morning. If I catch cold, it doesn't leave me for a long time. Tell him to send a blanket. Won't you? A red one. I had a blanket. The one he brought for me when he was studying in Madras. It is all tattered now. Just a ball of knotted yarn. Tell him to send me a red blanket. Will you? Here missed means fog. Tattered means torn. Yarn means waving. Amma told her to inform her son to send her a blanket. Because there is a cold mist in the morning. If she catch cold, it doesn't leave her for a long time. She told him to send a blanket. She asked the person, won't you inform? She told her she need a red one. Already she had a blanket. The one her son brought for her when he was sitting in Madras. It is all tattered now. It was a ball of knotted yarn. She told him to send her a blanket. Here, who is the speaker? Mother is the speaker. Who is she speaking to? She is speaking to Gopi. What does the speaker want? The speaker wanted a red blanket. Why did the speaker want it? Because there was a mist and she became an old. When was the old blanket brought to the speaker? When he was studying in Madras. I will tell him he nodded. Nodded means move head showing agreement. Gopi answered, I will tell him. Please don't forget to tell him. The mist is not good for me. I think I will stretch myself out for a bit. I have been sitting too long in the armchair. I have a pain in the neck. Stretch means make longer. The old woman requested him, please don't forget to tell for her son. The mist is not good for her. She thinks she will stretch herself out for a bit. She has been sitting too long in the armchair. She has a pain in the neck. Gopi's sister put Amma to bed and came back to the veranda. Gopi's sister put her mother to bed and came back to the veranda. You didn't come to see Amma, did you? Kamala asked Gopi, you didn't come to see Amma, did you? Delhi is too expensive, you know. I have four children to look after now. I can't make both ends meet with my salary. And one has to keep up one's status. It will be a great help if... I can raise some money by selling my share of the family property. I came to talk it over with you. Expensive means two costs. Look after means brought up. Can't make both ends meet. Just enough money. Go pee. Said to Kamala, Delhi is too expensive. She knows he has four children to look after now. He can't make both ends meet with his salary. And 
he has to keep up one's status it will be a great help if he can raise some money by selling his share of the family property he came to talk with them you will sell your land and go away with the money i know you won't come here any more after that kamala said to gopi you will sell your land and go away with the money i know you won't come here any more after that don't say that i will come when i get to time gopi said to kamala don't say that i will come when i get to time you were time kamala said to, to gopi you have no time he saw the irritation on his sister's face irritation means more angriness gopi saw more angriness on his sister's face it took you more than 5 years to find time to come here amma is 83 now i don't think she will pull on much longer it took you so long to visit her after the last time pull on means survive kamala said to gopi you took more than 5 years to come here amma is 83 now i don't think she will survive much longer you took for a long time to visit here but amma can't remember who i am he said smiling feebly feebly means weakly gopi said to kamala but amma can't remember who i am kamala answered to gopi but do you remember your amma after reading this lesson we should understand that we should not neglect our parents at their old age okay we will learn the meaning again cater is an attitude that means go putai is an attitude that means unsuccessful hidal is a verb that means head on the leg close because of fear and cold relativity is an adverb that means not willing to do something trivial bhar i is a verb that means narrowing the eyes to look more carefully on to is an idiom that means busy mumbling is a verb that means speaking unclearly and quietly exasperate is an attitude that means very annoyed and then come to the next one kaitari logam is a noun that means well settled in malayalam come to the next one irritation is a noun that means annoyed Contrasted is a noun that means land outside the city, town, the city. And then come to the next one. Grating is an attitude that means hardened, unpleasant. Alarm is a noun that means a feeling of fear or worry. come to the next one k is an attitude that means frighten and then come to the next one break is an attitude
What is meant by the expression the dotted blanket? So these questions are in your text only at page number six. Write them and make the answers for them neatly. Next one, children. Vocabulary activity. Fill the blank with the most appropriate words from the box. Here, they have given few sentences with blank. And they are also given some of the words in the box. Education. Huddle. Awkwardly. Put time. Vacation, reluctantly, exasperatedly, mumbling. So already we discussed these words meaning in our lesson. Here, what we have to do? We have to do here to fill the blank with the right word from the box. See the first blank. All my attempts to make him happy proved that Kutai Kutai means unsuccessful All my attempts to make him happy proved Kutai Come to the second one It was very cold So I dare in a corner. It was very cold, so I had it in a corner. Had it me? Head, arms and legs because of fear and cold. Come to the third one. Forced by her parents, see the death to the diploma. Forced by her parents, Sita reluctantly took the diploma course. Reluctantly means not willing to do something. What are you? Well, I can't hear you. What are you, monkey? I can't hear you. Come to the next room. The news that he was denied promotion caused death to him. The news that he was denied promotion caused irritation to him. Irritation means unknown. See the next one. Take the words that are similar in meaning to the underlined words. First one is, his mother made a futile attempt to get her. It is see the options. Bad, limited, useless, empty. What is the underlined word here? Futile. So, that means useless. Come to the second left. It's all dated now. See the options. Spoil, or dirty, tone. The underlined word is tattered. That means so. Come to the next left. There is this cold mist in the morning. Let us see the options. I no, for we. What is the underlying word here? Mist. That means for. Come to the next one. It's just like a ball of not tail. And let us see the options. Very small, rounded happy, 
come to the third one. Our grandfather lives in a big store. Big See the last one is Ramana has dash a nice silk sari. If you know some of the noun phrases, collect them. See the next one. Here they have given two sentences. The first one is Kamala, her eldest daughter, a widow, got reluctantly. And the second one is Don't you remember Vimala, district collector, Namir's eldest daughter? In it, they underlined some words. The underlined words are referred to a noun that occurred to before. Eight. So the underlined words are referred to a noun. So these are noun phrase opposition. Gender 
statement. They end with put a stop. Then I came. Imperative sentences. 
sentence. When it's because we have a fun order. Don't go there. So it is having order. So it is also one of the examples of imperative sentence. The fourth one is exclamatory sentences. They express sudden feelings. They express sudden feelings. Correct some different types of sentences from your words and 